Hey everyone, welcome back to the High Note channel. Are you one of the many real estate agents wondering how to take your business to the next level? Namely from rookie to top producer to team leader, then to a brokerage owner and finally selling your brokerage. Whatever stage you're at, this is the place for you as we regularly deliver great tips and content on how to get you to the next stage of your career, whatever stage that is. We provide this information for free and I'm just walking you guys through my personal journey as a rookie agent to the number two condo agent in San Francisco, to a team leader and eventually owner of Climb Real Estate, which we led to an acquisition by Realogy. Today, I'm founder and CEO of Hino, the latest and greatest sales platform for the real estate industry. All I ask in return is that if you get anything out of this, do me a favor and you hit that like button. And if you want to keep getting tips and regular content, hit the subscribe button as well. It's very helpful for our channel. Drop a comment below and let me know what other questions we can answer for you. We always appreciate the feedback. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching. And we hope you get a lot out of this. Now, there's some things that everybody should be aware so there's some free tools out there that I, I recommend, right? Mm -hmm. So there's a free tool called BidIQ. This isn't sponsored by them. Patrick, I think, uses a, a, a different product, right? But it's you two, can- TubeBuddy, BidIQ, they're the two ones in the industry. What is the other one? TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy, right? And I thought that this was a really cool tool because it shows like the competition, it shows other people in the area, what you're doing right, what you're doing wrong. Right. I think the other thing to keep in mind are your titles and your thumbnails, right? So thumbnails don't need to be professional. Quite frankly, it should be like, what's going on with the market, right? And the rain is falling and, you know, like the president and whatever is behind you, whatever, right? Like those thumbnails do draw attention to it. And after watching uh, Mr. Beast talk about what he does, it was very, very obvious why those thumbnails are so important. Correct. And then last but not least is a call to action. I see a lot of people that do not do this. You create this video, you're getting these views, and then what? Yeah. And then what? <clears throat> Every video, you can drop a link below, right? So Patrick and I were talking about this in, in Dallas a couple weeks ago. Like, put your high note link there. Mm -hmm. So your little video about me, right the areas that you focus on and then we have a, a lead capture right where they can enter in their first name email phone or you can put in your calendar link book an appointment mm -hmm. it gives people another place to go if i want more of rachel i'm gonna poke around watch some of the videos but then like i'm like dude she's investing down there she knows everything about all these different high rises that you can and cannot have airbnbs in like that's a topic right now the 37 things that everybody needs to know about investing in Gainesville or doing an Airbnb in Gainesville, you will outrank everybody, mm -hmm. right? So right. those are those are some things that um, you know Patrick has taught me and <clears throat> I've learned on my own. But those are some yeah, things I definitely just, want to keep in mind. I think just for just to nail that point home, because <clears throat> Randy is a technology guy. I've learned to be embrace technology. But what I think all of us need to do is whenever you go to a new platform, I don't care if it was TikTok or if it was Instagram Reels, and then it was Facebook, then Facebook groups, and then it's you know Pinterest or it's YouTube, you have to kind of go learn a little bit about how they want you to deliver the content on their platform. Like what are their rules and what are their best practices? And so I think, the, too often I see people taking a, a social media mindset to YouTube and it bombs. But that's because they're not looking at YouTube first to go, how does YouTube work? What's YouTube all about? What are these people there to do? How do they present their content? How does the thumbnail get presented? How's the title structure? Where is there a call to action? How does this work? And so you, everybody, you just have to, if you embrace a new platform, even with High Note, it's like, okay, I've got to, you got to get into the resource. I got to learn how High Note wants me to present my content. And they presented that, you know, the, the big banner and there's some data, there's a thumbnail and there's some title and there's a, some description. So I got to kind of learn how High Note wants me 
to present my content onto this platform. And so that's just part of, for all of us, you know, kind of in 2022, we have to be better at studying the platform first so that we can map what we want onto it. And then of course, there's what your customer expects. So what a customer expects on YouTube is very different than what they would expect in an Instagram reel, which is very different than they would expect on Pinterest or on LinkedIn and or on, you know, whatever. So being mindful of that, and then you can now go, okay, I know what the platform wants. I know what the customers expect. I know what I want. Now you can actually map your strategy effectively and you can win. Too often we, we, we kind of try things out. We do hardly any research. It totally bombs. And then you guys blame me or you blame Randy. You guys are jerks. Yeah, so patience, I mean, I mean patience, patience, patience is everything, you know, like, I mean, I can't, I can't, unfortunately, it's very rare that I can cook dinner for my family, you know, in under an hour, you know, like between prepping and getting everything together and getting the table set, very rarely, right? Like, and everybody think like, it was like, oh, it, you know, 10 minute meal. No, it's not a 10 minute meal. Like no matter what you do, minus cereal, right? Like it's gonna be longer than that. So have some patience and invest in your future and your channel. And if you wanna keep getting tips, hit the subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching and we hope you get a lot out of this.